Some viewers were saying they have trouble with rack focusing their cameras. Most think of rack focus as a quick refocus shot from one subject to another. Rack focus simply means changing the focus of your lens while shooting and speed isn't a factor. Let's first look at doing this by hand. Here's a slow rack in. You can usually pull it in slowly and by watching the LCD screen, you're going to see when you're in focus. Obviously, a large monitor helps. Let's rack back out slowly and when you see the first object back in focus, stop. For a quick focus change, you're going to have to pay attention. Rack in, rack out. Rack in, rack out. If you have focus peaking on your camera, which I don't have on this one, that can help too. The idea is to practice the shot beforehand. Like when you first learned to drive a car and you overcompensated and undercompensated the steering until you got a feel for it. It's no different with practicing driving the lens. It doesn't take long and after a couple of tries, you wonder why you thought it was so hard. If you're racking focus in on a moving object like a person, this is a bit harder as you're follow focusing, which isn't a part of this video, but again, you practice the shot, it's not too hard. The second method of rack focusing is a lot easier and will assure a good shot. You set the focus on the first subject, place some tape on both sides of the focus ring, and mark a line, the exact point of focus. Then move the focus ring until you have nailed the focus on the second subject, add another piece of tape, and draw a line. Now I know I'll nail the focus every time. I move my focus to this line, nailed it. This line, nailed it. This line, nailed it. This line, nailed it. I can also do a slower rack focus, whatever speed I want. If the subjects aren't moving, I don't even have to look at the LCD screen as the shot is set up, framed, and my rack focus will be spot on every time. Now, if you have Autofocus built into the camera with a touch screen, it's really nice. This $300 camera is great. I gently touch the thing I want to focus on and it racks to it. I touch the other object and it racks focus to that one. Here we rack back in and I touch again and I rack out. I'm barely touching the screen and as you can see, the camera is barely moving even though it's on a shaky light stand. Rack in, rack out. That's the easiest way, although you don't get control over the speed of the rack, at least that I know of as, I just got this camera a few days ago. So that's how you do that. Touch the screen, rack in, and rack out. Here's another method of pulling and racking focus. You have this wheel here, which is connected to the focus ring on the lens, and as you turn the wheel, it turns the focus ring. The white plastic on the wheel is for focus marks. You take a dry erase marker, make your first point of focus by the indicator, then you focus on the next object as I've shown, and draw another dry erase mark by the indicator. That way you fully rack the focus between these two lines, just like we did with our little tape marks. That should answer our viewers' questions and concerns, and yes, there's a lot more to this subject, but that should give you enough information to get good rack focusing. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. For a quick focus change, you're going to have the second mecha the second method of rack focus. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. So you just jump between these two points and you get a perk rack in, rack out. There's a lot more to this subject that I should. Thanks for watching. Thanks for. By the way, I was too embarrassed to not cut out the point where I spun around and then fell on my ass.